Welcome to Text Talks Lecture 117, Testing the BJT Transistor. Today we will be going over the MPN and the PMP transistor and how to test one to ensure it's operating properly. First thing to cover is some basic components of this type of transistor. As you can see in the diagram, the transistors we are discussing are bipolar junction transistors, BJT, and is a type of transistor that uses both electrons and electron holes as charge carriers, diffusion current. A bipolar transistor allows a small current injected at one of its terminals, the base, to control a much larger current between the remaining two terminals, making the device capable of amplification or switching. BJTs exist as PMP, and NPN types based on the doping types of the three main terminal regions. An NPN transistor comprises two semiconductor junctions that share a thin P-dope region, and a PMP transistor comprises of two semiconductor junctions that share a thin N-dope region. As you can see in the diagram, BJTs consist of three differently doped semiconductor regions, the emitter region, the base region, and the collector region. These regions are respectively P-type, N-type, P-type, and a PMP, and an N-type, P-type, N-type, and an MPN. Each semiconductor region is connected to a terminal appropriately labeled emitter, capital E, base, capital B, and the collector, capital C. As you can see in this diagram, this is a three-dimensional rendering of a BJT transistor. And you can see the, the emitter, let's say it's an emitter-based collector. The collector would be the really thick lead that goes, that is supporting the semiconductor wafer. And then the other two leads, being a base emitter or emitter base, are connected to that wafer through... Uh, the big lead that allow you physical contact, and then the, the small micro leads that are buried into the epoxy of the transistor. And that's what it looks like. That's it for the lecture. Now on to the lab. Okay, we're going to do the 2N3906 general purpose PMP silicon transistor. As in the symbol, you can notice there's a little bit of difference. The PMP symbol on the emitter, the arrow points into the base. As on a MPN transistor, since this doesn't have it, but the arrow would point away from the base. It would be going the opposite direction. This too is a TO92 case. That tells you that pin one is uh, the uh, emitter, pin two is the base, and pin three is the collector. As you can see here, pin three collector, pin one emitter, pin two is base. Here is our 2N3906. Okay, this is pin one. That's the emitter, the base collector. Here's the flat side right here. And you know that the emitter is to the left. For our next part of the test, we need to know the output polarity of your leads coming out of your analog meter set on times 10 resistance. So if I take the black lead and put it into the red input of the DVM and the red lead into the common input of the DVM, put it on 20 volts, and we'll see I have a positive 2.88 volts. This is perfect for MPN transistors because I will put the negative lead on the base and the positive lead on the collector or emitter and it should conduct. And we'll, the resistance will go down. <clears throat> but when I do the opposite of that, it shouldn't conduct at all. And the same with collector to emitter, emitter to collector. Now for the PMP, if I swap the leads and put the black lead into the common and the red lead into the uh, red input, positive input of the DVM, I will get a negative voltage, which is perfect for a PMP transistor. And you just do the same uh, sequence of events to test that transistor. A 
Okay, we'll conduct our test now. Remember, it's a PMP, so you have to have a negative voltage on the base to have conduction. So we're gonna put the red lead, because that's negative 2.88 volts on the base. And we'll put the black lead on the collector first. We have conduction. On the emitter next, there is conduction. So that's good. We'll reverse bias it. Should have no conduction. No conduction. With the emitter, no conduction. Emitter to collector should be no conduction because there's nothing on the base. That's confirmed. And we swap the leads and do it again. We have no conduction. So this PMP 2N3906 transistor is good. We're finished. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks. Bye.